Excuse me. Ooh. It works for me. So if I just press Y while going fast, I immediately bring it up. Oh. Good to know. It's the creepy statue room. Those who reject salvation embrace ignorance. I mean, I'm pretty ignorant in general. It happens. Sometimes I hear information and then it's gone within 30 seconds. I'll return your tainted blood to the foul earth that has spawned you. That is an intimidating line. <laughs> You're really full of your shit. It's impressive, Sean. All right. Let's see. Sword versus versus chainsaw. Oh my god damn! The religious fervor has given him so much strength in his arm swing. I'm fucking busy, Otis! Sure. Sure, Otis. I'll bring back some wine. The time of judgment has come. Perfect. Whoop that didn't work. <laughs> Whoop I wanted to finish him off with a drop kick. You've been besieged! Oh, Jesus! You got besieged so hard they had to show it off multiple times. Well... I hope everyone had fun at this movie tonight. Brainwashing tips. Escorted targets no longer fear death and readily jump into danger. I mean, I don't really want them to jump in it. Danger. Are you all right? But I would like them to not be afraid of of zombies and stuff. Oh boy. Am I safe now? Nope. I'm safe. Nope. You're not. Get back over, over here. There. All right. Have a pistol at least. Not the not the one with thirty bullets. What are you thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking, Michelle? <laughs> Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> God damn. All right. Ahem. So, uh, as as I was, was saying beforehand, I, I hope you all appreciate coming out to this this Alamo Draft House showing of religious zealot gets besieged. 
don't worry, he'll he'll get up eventually. Uh, he's just waiting for everybody to not be watching anymore. Yes, so we'll get you Are untied. You I hope you appreciated this. You are, but I sure appreciate your help. This 5D experience. Are you all right? I'm sure it got the blood pumping. Damn it! Why'd they have to tie me up so tight? It totally left marks. It's okay, Beth. Uh, the the, the your the marks will disappear soon enough. Right? Uh, who the hell are all these freaks? Anybody want a sword? Here, Ray. You can be the one. Okay. To beseech the ones outside. Over here! Hurry! Oh shit! There was another person. Please! They're going to kill me! They want to sacrifice me. I'll do anything. Just save me. Anything, huh? Sounds like fun. Anyway, I took care of those goons. You're safe now. You did? Really? Yeah, I just gotta take you back to the Their safe room. Leader's finished, though there may be a few underlings left. This place is dangerous. You ready to blow this joint? Thanks. I'll follow you anywhere. Awesome. You don't gotta really follow me too far. Floyd the Summerlair. All right, we gotta get wine. Giant swing. Grab a zombie by its rotten ankles and take it for a spin with this over-the-top skills. Uh, stand near a fallen zombie's feet, press RB, or press and hold RB, and then X. Alright? Come on! Okay, everyone, I need you to stand right there. We're gonna take a, uh, a group picture. Whoa. Whoop! Yeah, it's good enough. Perfect. Maybe Follow if they're me. they're running over to me, we can make it more dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, we're going on an adventure to get wine. Actually, no, never mind. We're going to the security room. That girl, Isabella, she woke up. Looks like Brad's ready to interrogate her. If you want to hear what she's got to say, you better get back to the security room. Quick. I'm on the way. Come on, everyone. Oh, wait, I still need to get wine, though, because of what happened last time. That one's kind of a problem, because I don't know where to get wine besides... the what There's... We've encountered wine in two places. And the closest one that I can think of... Is gonna be the... Food court. There was, like, wine over here. Do I have time for that? I'm gonna have to do something drastic. <laughs> we're gonna take everybody outside. And then we're gonna abandon them for a little bit. Because I don't know if there's any wine in this area. I would leave them at the door, but the, the prisoners might try and kill them, so we'll let them try and run. Wine! Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Go! 
That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Come on! Come on, everybody! We're going back to the door! Come on, follow me! Yeah, I was just trying to do like a sick move on the zombie. I pressed the wrong input. If I had been like RBX, we would have been fine. This time we're gonna uh, we're gonna make sure not to go back onto the wine. Get back to the door, everyone! We're in a rush! Go! Yeah. Ow, you... Anybody else want a gun? Maybe. Leave everything here to me. Nah, I'm not trying to hold your hand, Cheryl. Oh. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna keep it moving. Follow me. I was actually trying to break into it, not jump away from it. Oh, he's, it's pushing. <laughs> huh. Okay. Stay away from the maintenance tunnel, man. Go. That place is crawling with zombies. <gasps> oh, the light stays with you. I forgot about that. Cutting it close again. I'm, I'm gonna have to abandon them. I'm gonna have to abandon them. I'm gonna have to abandon them. Oh my god, I have to abandon them. We have fucking two in game minutes. No! Forget going out to the movies. Nothing but DVD rentals from now on. I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! Oh my god. What is your name? Isabella. Isabella Keys. Well, Isabella, this is an emergency. So we'll skip the formalities and cut to the chase. Consider this an official interrogation. Tell me everything that you know. Fine. I'll explain why all of this is your fault. There was no drug trade in Santa Cabeza. Just an American research facility. They were doing research on some sort of parasitic insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. 
If you don't believe me, just ask the man who was in charge of that research. The head of the Santa Cabeza Livestock Research Facility, Dr. Barnaby! We got him locked up right behind us. Huh? Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, God! It started! He's turning! <laughs> Maybe he's not actually turning. Maybe he's just a very angry old man. Maybe he is turning to a zombie. I, or he's just old. I, uh, zombie. <laughs> <coughs> Not yet. Tell me the truth, Doc. Were you conducting experiments with zombies? Government's now in the zombie making business. The whole story about the drug trade was a cover up. What do you know? Not a lot, I guess. We are trying to mass produce cattle. <laughs> do you have any idea how much meat Americans consume? In a single day? <laughs> Probably a lot more than when this game was made. <laughs> that research was absolutely necessary! I mean, you made zombies. Uh, it might not have been on purpose, but I feel like you purposely continued fucking around with the zombie thing. That that seems like what happened. Zombie. Yeah, he's properly turned this time. I tried to take a picture, it wouldn't let me. One day, in my village, the people turned into zombies. Those damn wasps. They escaped from the lab. It wasn't long before they got to work. The zombies spread. The army was called in. They killed everyone. Good 
shot. So, the terrorism is a retaliation for a cruel government cover-up? Sounds plausible. Or it could be some serious bullshit. In either case, we have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. <sighs> I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. I know I have no right to ask, but please, let me help. If you don't get out of here, the truth dies with you. <clears throat> I guess we gotta get up on that helicopter pad then, huh? Mm. All right. If allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us, I'm all for it. The next case will occur at 11 a.m. Sorry, Doc. Hopefully someone moves you. Oh, right. <laughs> Her injuries aren't serious, but I can't tell if we're looking at a bite wound or not. We'll just have to keep a close eye on her. <sighs> Jessie's still a rookie. I should never have brought her into this situation. I take full responsibility. That's good. I also take responsibility for the fact that I need to run <laughs> to my other survivors <laughs> before they die. Oh, God. Hey everyone! Oh, Michelle's gonna like fucking die. Nope. <laughs> That's my fault. I tried to kill the zombie ahead of her. Okay, everyone, stand in the corner. Oh, I did the thing again. No, I hate that so much. Fuck. I failed the case. I failed the side mission, I should I should say. <sighs> Did you see the big fish in the pond outside? I wonder if they're edible. We're not eating any of the fish outside. I'm sad. But I was in a rush. I mean, look at Michelle's health. She was, she she almost fucking died. So if I had taken the time to like turn in the wine for that fucking mission. Jeez. I'm all dusty. What I wouldn't give for a shower about now. We might have some chemical shower things in this place or something. I don't know. Summer Salt Kick. This skill allows you to unleash a kick so powerful that it can decapitate a zombie in one hit. Press A, then pre immediately press X. It does sound pretty useful. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and save here. You may have bitten off more than you can chew this time, Frank. I suppose it comes with the territory in your line of work, though. Huh. I mean, if nobody's doing anything dangerous, you got nothing to take pictures of and report on, right? I mean, I'm sure we could find some interesting stories out there without needing a zombie apocalypse or war. But I'm sure Frank does what he can to get the big bucks. Alright. I had myself a little bit of a food break. Let us continue on into the place, into the mall. I need to get a new chainsaw, because it's finally about to break. 
It might not even make it to, like, me replacing it. But we'll see. <laughs> Fuck. Get off of me, zombie. I'm surprised we haven't gotten any calls from Otis about any particular jobs. So I think we still have, like, one big day left. Oh my god. Oh my god. So many cops firing at me. Yeah, when we landed, it was the 19. And then they were like, oh, in three days. Does that include the 19? Or is it like after the 19th? In which case it would be the, the 22nd. Oh, a survivor. Hey. You know, an old man also wants wine. Shame he couldn't get it because he was an impatient fuck. What the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> Feel like a drink, partner? No cover charge. Huh. I just I had one. Okay. He's holding huh. a Molotov cocktail. You better be careful. That part's the concerning part. Transmissionary. <laughs> All right. I do need to go that way. What do you? Hey, Gil. Worthless, drunk. Don't you know what's going on out there? Yeah, yeah, huh. I know. That's exactly why I'm drinking. <laughs> you expect me to stay sober in this situation, asshole? Just come with me. You're gonna get your ass eaten if you stay here. Goddamn zombies, come on, come and get me. Hope you can hold your liquor though, cause I'm soaking in it. Well, I'm not gonna suck the liquor off of you. Perfect. Look, there's a helicopter coming. If you want to be on it, you'll come with me. I already got someone coming to get me. Angels. Beautiful angels. If you pass out, I'm leaving you Zombies, here. Zombies, angels, people, whatever. Let's all get drunk. <laughs> I can't do that right now, sir. I've got a job to do. Is he following me? All right, you're getting kicked. Not a chance. Okay, what if I drink? Ouch, what the hell are you doing? Oh, okay, that, that was good enough. What a piece of work you are, man. You really think help is coming for you? Ain't nobody coming to help us, partner. We're all gonna die here! Huh. I really appreciate that they just let us... Bam! No way. Knock some sense into the people when they're like, I don't want to get along. Yeah. Yeah. What if I also, okay, I keep picking up plates. I'm actually trying to pick up fucking wine. What if I drink the wine with you? Boom. It came camaraderie. Wow. I have, I have had some drinks. Come on! 
Maybe if I walk far enough away. You know, he'd be like, wait, come back! Wait, are you serious? Someone's really coming for us? For sure? Yes! Trust me or not, that's your choice. I'll go! Take me with you, I'm going! Doesn't get much better than this. Can you hold any weapons? Oh, no, he's a sh we gotta give him our shoulder. Alright, Gil. I, uh... I'm short on time with things. So I'm just gonna carry you around with me. What does this say? True Eye, Colby's Movie Land. Am I still gonna run the cultists over here? Your leader's dead! Alright, we're fine. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go the long way around real quick. Because I'm trying to get a chainsaw. And if it turns out the Molotov person is actually a, uh... A psychopath fight? Gonna need, gonna need... Good weapons for that. Oh, no. Hey, there's something here! Why don't you try taking a picture, paparazzi man? Okay, we gotta go through the... The playground to get up there. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through, coming through. Jeez. This is good enough. Get off of me. Uh. All right, Gil, get over here because I think there's. <laughs> I think the roller coaster things are still moving. Actually, now they're turned off because it was the middle of the night. Right, come on, Gil. I gotta re examine the bookstore because there might actually be a third book. For me to take to make my my chainsaw elevate to the highest level. Gains the ability to perform so a skateboard God, trick. Also, hold on to skateboards three times as long as you want. She seemed to be searching for a girl. Yeah, she's dealt with already. Maybe the criminal biography book counts for it? Oh, oh. Oh, it does! Okay, that's my bad. I definitely saw that, and I was just like, eh! The chainsaw wouldn't count as an edged weapon. I was wrong. I could have had three books this whole time. And then I could have had both of my chainsaws in my inventory. But I would have accidentally given one away anyways. Where am I going for this? Wait, ladies, clothing shop. And the Wonderland Plaza. Is that downstairs? Ah. Uh. Okay, it's first floor. I didn't actually have to make my the the other way over to the the roller coaster. I could have just gone up these stairs. Hey, there's something here. Why don't you try taking a picture, paparazzi man? I did. Yeah, I did in fact see that. Hello? Oh, not this one.
Actually, it was that one. Oops. Why do you have a Molotov? Oh God, are you gonna burn these people? I actually would like to help you out if possible. Hold on now. In case, in case the place starts to get burned up. Ooh, ow. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Pipe bombs. That's a bit of a higher level there, Paul. Stay away. Don't come any closer. But I gotta I gotta shoot some sense into you, Paul! Sorry, Gil, I'm not trying to shoot in your way. You just uh You're just kinda of standing in the worst places. I got one shot left. Ow! 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 That hurts. Wait, come back! <laughs> I almost, I almost had you defeated. Ah, uh, well, okay, I can't. I can't follow you past the explosions like that. I have a flame or a fire extinguisher. Perfect. I think it's working. Good. You okay, kid? Looks like you're no worse for wear. thinking I'll never do anything like that again if you promise to behave yourself and cooperate I'll escort you to a safe place okay I'll cooperate my arson days are over <laughs> he calls it his arson days uh, all right Paul listen Paul never mind I don't have anything to give you actually <clears throat> everything's okay now you don't have to be afraid. I can take you to a safer place than this. You feel up to a little trip? Okay. Roger. Wow, they were so willing to to join up, considering that uh, Paul is with us. Oh! That's a pretty dress. He's me, everybody. What time is it right now? Uh, like seven? Seven a.m. Come on, everyone! Oh Christ! Okay. <laughs> Gil takes forever. Let me grab him. Hey, there's something here. Why don't you try taking a picture, paparazzi man? I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Younger me, you know, 
pre to might have been a more interesting being like, I'll try and get every achievement. Right now, I don't even have like Steam overlay enabled, so I don't even see the achievements when I'm getting them in this game. Let's see. Uh, will we'll cut through the park. The zombies are occasionally a lot more spread out here, and the amount of times I've actually had to deal with uh, the prisoners has been low. Paul wants the light, the light sword. You know what, Paul? Absolutely, here you go. I don't know what the hell you're gonna do with that. Maybe his affinity gives him the damage boost to be able to use it properly. There is a variant of that sword that you can unlock that does like actual big damage which is cool I but you know you gotta unlock it first and I don't remember off the top of my head what you had to do to unlock it I don't I don't even know if I did that one I, I remember I did the Mega Man blaster that was the 53,000 plus zombie kills I more than likely tried to do the sword thing. I don't know. It's been 13 years since I last played the game. Come on, everybody. Come on, Mindy. It's dirty that they want you to be at the security room by 11 and then immediately another mission at 12 p.m. At least it's like right out here. But they like getting us to cut it close in this game. Some guy. I think he was Japanese. Ask me something. I had no clue what he was saying. That's okay. They're they're chilling out inside the security room. You know, I told them Watashi Frank and that there was a place that we could go to be safe. That's good enough, that's good enough. <sighs> Alright everyone, a little bit closer, just in case. Try to get the maximum Consider my amount I can. Killed. Now I've got to start getting my drink on all over again. Face Crusher! Neck Twist! Oh my god. Face Crusher! This skill allows you to grab a zombie by the scruff of the neck and smash its face into the ground. Facing a zombie's back, simultaneously press RB and A. Neck Twist! This skill allows you to grab a zombie's head and give it a brutal twist. Stand near the head of a fallen zombie and press uh, right bumper or press and hold right bumper and X. Man, they give you so many skills here. I really actually wouldn't mind if they just showed us button prompts. But this was this was just a bit before we started getting button prompts on everything. Mm. Uh, at least in terms of like doing like finisher moves and stuff on enemies. Uh. 
Her injuries aren't serious, but I can't tell if we're looking at a bite wound or not. We'll just have to keep a close eye on her. <sighs> okay, they're just saying the same stuff that, we, that they said beforehand. I didn't really take it in because I was in such a rush. What? I got you. I really owe you one. <sighs> Say cheese, everyone. Anyone there? Perfect. Why is Nathan being brutal? Well, we got like three and a half hours to burn in the game. Let's go see if we can find some survivors out there. There's got to be more people lurking about. I'm going to have to grab a new skateboard. There's a guy hanging out in the cosmetic shop in Wonderland Plaza. He doesn't look so good. All right, I was just I was just in Wonderland Plaza. Fuck you, Otis. <laughs> A bike in here that I could take instead of the the skateboard. I'm down to change it up. I could have sworn I saw a bike somewhere, and someone mentioned, you know, one of the NPC survivors mentioned wanting a bike. Maybe I'm just imagining things. It's okay. We've got skateboard. Ooh. Okay. I'm heading back to Wonderland Plaza. Actually, I'll take a quick detour through the North Plaza real quick, see if there's anything going on over there. Any other survivors in here? I'm not really seeing any names pop up or subtitles. I don't think anyone shows up in the maintenance tunnels. That's just a hellhole of zombies. I'm expecting this sick guy to want us to go to the store though, the supermarket to help him out. What floor is he on? Uh, first floor. <laughs> Susan! Between my hip and my dentures, I'm half plastic and bolts anyway. What are you doing up there, Susan? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> No, I got the PP sticker in that. Perfect. I was trying not to. All right, let's slash our way through everything. Cheeto throw. Yeah. 
Sorry, Susan, I normally carry around the queen to make brute kills faster, but I just haven't been doing it. Because I've been carrying around this silly chainsaw and it's three books. Well, would you look at that? It does hop up a, a little reminder there, a little button, but only for the neck twist. Hold on, it was for the neck twist and the sumo toss? Punch! Punch! My fists are too strong, damn it. <laughs> the fuck? Alright, Susan, listen. Do you do you need help? Come on, ma'am. Follow me. You'll be my personal escort. What a polite boy. Boy? Sure, Susan, come with me. We're gonna try and pick up this other guy, too. Hey, Leroy. It's too dangerous to be out here. Uh, hey! You, you startled me. D d don't do th th that to me! Sorry. Do you need anything? You look a little sick. You feeling okay? Uh, I'm fine. Just a scratch. N n no problem. Mm. You're hurt. Where? Show me. Don't w worry about it. Everything's f fine. I have to be worried about it, sir. We better get you taken care of. Follow me. We can treat your wound. I I if you say so. Do I... Can I give him anything? Okay, all right. I'm so used to fucking people needing me to, like, hold their hand, offer my shoulder or some shit. It's been driving me nuts. Alright, we're gonna go take the shortcut. Get back to the security room. Ah! Uh -huh. Here you go, Leroy. Judo throw! <laughs> Careful there, Susan. Your war powers may be out of out of control. They may be unstable. You don't want to be sent to Dead Rising 2, right? Some gentleman in a tuxedo gave me a helping hand. I do hope he's still safe. I think that was the shotgun guy. Just running around helping people where he can. Here, we'll save my game. In case something bad happens. Susan, what were you doing on top of that soccer soccer ball anyway? Is that Frank? I demand you take a picture of this at once. That's a funny line. No, <laughs> no, Susan, I refuse. Y'all can continue to mark random things for me to take pictures of, and it's it's not going to happen because we just don't have like the supreme amount of free time that I kind of wish the main campaign did. Ah, oh, God, Susan, help! Oh. Susan, help again! All right, give me a second, Susan. That's good enough. It'd be cool, like, 
if all the survivors actually all right hold on hold on you can catch your breath inside of the the safe zone <laughs> it'd be cool if you could actually track some of these survivors over the course of the days and be like oh susan's gonna be inside of the cafeteria or something and you could like save her a little bit earlier for a bit disembowel that sounds crazy this skill allows you to quickly thrust a hand inside of zombies body and yank out their putrid organs press rb and a while facing a zombie dude the the dead rising developers were so bloodthirsty <laughs> oh my god Cause like normal, like the normal, regular Dead Rising gameplays, it, it, it's all right, right? Like you smack things around with like whatever weapons you find. Maybe you hit him with a chainsaw. Maybe you hit him with a bat. Maybe you hit him with a katana. And then you've got the melee skills, and it's just like, oh yeah, fucking sumo toss a zombie through a whole group, and then drop kick them, rip out their bowels. They really said. You don't, you don't gotta have a weapon if you don't wanna. All right, well, we've got one hour until the main story thing. So I think we'll actually use the advanced time feature. Advanced time.